Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you'll be fine. This is 6.2 of uh, Cambridge Primary Mathematics work, uh, textbook 6. And today we are going to start with this exercise uh, which includes percentage. We have discussed these questions earlier as well. So let's uh, start with this exercise starting from question number 1 which says find 10% of these quantities. Whenever you have to find out 10% of something, if the number has one zero in it you simply have to remove that zero okay and I'll prove it to you 10% of 40 40 is a number other hundred percent of a number is 40 so what would be its 10% 10% means we have to divide it by 10 how 10% means 10 upon 100 because percentage sign expresses there is an upon 100 over it so 10 upon 100 multiply by 40 one zero cuts, one zero in the denominator, another zero cuts, another zero. What are we left with? One multiply by four and that's four. So 10% of 40, 40 divided by 10 is equals to four. Similarly, 70 centimeters divided by 10 is equals to seven. $20 divided by 10 is equals to $2. 120 kgs divided by 10 is equals to 12 kgs. So this is how we are supposed to solve it. And we must know that anything where we have to find out 10% of something, we simply have to divide it by 10. Because 10% of something is actually dividing it by 10. Okay? Or you can do it like this as well. Students, whenever you have to calculate, like if you have to calculate 2% of 40, okay? Or 20% of 40, or you have to calculate 33% of 40. Whatever percentage you have to calculate for any number, what you can do is... Since we know that 100% of a number is 40, right? 100% means a complete number, a full number is 40. So what would be its 2%? So what are we supposed to do? We will simply find out 1 upon 100. Uh, that is 1% of 40. We will first find 1% of 40 would be 1 upon 100 multiplied by 40. 0 cut 0. 4 divided by 10 is equals to 0 0.4. It means... If a number is 40, its 1% would be 0 0.4. So what would be its 2%? It would be 0 0.4 multiplied by 2. That is 0 0.8, right? Similarly, if we have to calculate 10% of 40, so if 1% is 0 0.4, 10% would be 0 0.4 multiplied by 10. That is 4. You see, 40 divided by 10 or 0 0.4 multiplied by 10 equals the same. If we need to calculate 20% of 40, so if 10% is 4, what would be 20%? It would be 4 multiplied by 2, that is 8. Or if 2% of 40 is 0.8, 20% of 40 would be multiplied by 10, 0 0.8 multiplied by 10. Similarly, 33% of 44, how are we supposed to do that? First, we will uh, find the 30%. So, if 0. Point, if 1% is 0. 0.4, so what we can do next? 0. 0.4 multiply by 33. That's all. So, you can do it in multiple ways. But I think you should go for this method since you are learning percentages in the beginning. So, you are beginners. So, you should go for this method. This one is easier. So, just remove the percentage sign. Write down 100 underneath the given number. And then multiply it with the given number. That's all. Now the next question says, a man has a mass of 80 kgs. This is the 100%, right? 60% of his total mass is water. So, what is the mass of this water? It would be 60% of 80, right? So, we can do it like this. If we will find the 10% of 80, 60% can be split it into 6 multiplied by 10, right? So you can do it like this. 10% of 80 is equals to 8. 80 divided by 10 is equals to 8. And then our, what are we left with? 6. So we will simply multiply 6 with 8. And that's 48. You see what we did? First we found 10% of 80. That was 8. Then we multiplied the answer with 6. That's all. Or you can do it like this. 60% multiplied by 80 is equals to 60 over 100 multiplied by 80. 0 cuts 0, another 0 cuts, another 0. What are we left with? 6 multiplied by 8 is equals to 48. Okay? Both methods are easy. Helga says to calculate 10% of a quantity, you divide it by 10 as we discussed it. So, to find 50%, you divide by 5. 
No, we are not supposed to divide it by 5. If we have to find out the 50% of something, 50% is basically half of something. So we have to divide it by 2. Helga is not correct. Explain what is wrong with her statement. If we need to find out 50% of something, we have to divide it by 2, not by 5. Okay? Because 50% of something is half. 1 over 2. 50% means 50 over 100. Look, 10% means 10 over 100, which is equivalent to 1 over 10. That is why 1 over 10 is dividing something by 10. But when we talk about 50%, so 50% is 50 over 100. 0 cut 0, 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. And as the number suggests, 50%, when we talk about 50%, 50% means half of something because 100% is full. 100% is the complete of something. So one, it's 1 over 2. Okay? What percentage of the diagram is shaded? There are 4 parts. 4 is the denominator. 1 is not shaded. So what is shaded? 1, 2, 3. So it's 3 fourth that is shaded. And since we have to calculate its percentage, so 3 fourth multiply by 100%. We will make fraction and multiply it by 100% to find the percentage. When we will have to find the percentage, we will multiply it by 100%. When we are provided with the percentage, then we will divide it by 100. So that's the difference you have to understand. So 4 1s are 4, 4 25s are 100. And then 25 multiplied by 3 is equal to 75. Also, I can prove it to you if the total of something is 100% and we are dividing it into 4 parts. So each part would be 100 divided by 4. That is 25, 25, 25. 25 plus 25, 50. 50 plus 25, 75. 75% is shaded. Another 25% is not shaded. So we can say that 25% is not shaded and the rest of the 75% is shaded. Similarly, what percentage of each diagram is shaded? Here, how many squares do we have? 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 into 10 is 100. We have a cross board of 100 boxes. How many are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 20, 30, 32, 34. So this would be 34%. Why? Because it's 3400. Okay? So when we have already the total is 100 and 34 upon 100 suggests 34%. Because when we talk about percentage, basically, we are talking about a total is 100 and out of 100, how much part is shaded? So it's 34 out of 100. 34 out of 100 or 34% are the same, right? But here in this box, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 boxes and out of these 10 boxes, 2 are shaded. So it's actually 2 over 10 and it's not 2 over 100. So it's not 2%. So what are we supposed to do? We will multiply it by 100%. 0 cut 0. So 2 multiplied by 10 is equal to 20%. It means 20% of it is shaded. Each part would be considered 10% over here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's how it becomes 100%. So if each part is 10% and 2 are shaded, so 10 plus 10, 20%. Right? Here again we have 10 parts, okay, and again two of them are shaded. So again the percentage would be the same, that is 2 out of 10, and that's 20%. So in part B and in part C, 20% is shaded, and here in this part, the number of boxes that are shaded would be its percentage because we have a total of 100 boxes. Now let's talk about question number 6. Question number 6 is exactly the same as uh, question number 1. We have to calculate 15% of 20 uh, 120, 45% of 240. So whenever we have to calculate the percentages, we will simply write it down as 15 over 100 multiplied by 120. Whenever the percentage is given and you just have to calculate the given percentage of something, you simply have to multiply it by that number. And how would you open it up? You will remove the percentage sign and write down 100 underneath it. So 0 cuts 0. Then we will simplify it. 5 2s are 10. 5 3s are 15. 2 1s are 2. 2 6s are 12. 3 6s are 18. So it's 18. We can say that 15% of uh, 120 would be 18. Right? Similarly, 45% of 240. We will write 45 over 100. Multiply by 240. 0 cuts. 0. 5 2s are 10. 5 9s are 41. 2 1s are 2. 2 12s are 24 and then we will multiply 12 with 9 which is 108 so it's 108 
that's all how easy it is you see now the next question says 65 percent of 180 so we'll do the same thing 65 over 100 multiply by 180 0 cuts 0 and then uh, 5 twos are 10 5 thirteens are 2 ones are 2 2 nines are now we will multiply 13 with 9 and that's 117 so the answer would be 117 that's all you see how easy it is now the next question okay students will discuss the remaining questions inshallah in the next video until then take care do subscribe to my channel if you are new and don't forget to share it with your friends allah hafiz